In this video, we're going to graphically find the values of functions. We're going to input x values and have the calculator graphically find the y values. For the first example, we're going to deal with the function f of x equals negative 2 thirds x plus 7. First thing we need to do is enter this function in the graphing calculator. So we go to the y equals menu, and we type negative 2 thirds x plus 7. We need to set a viewing window that will allow us to see this on the graph. We know that the x value is 4. We don't know the y value. So in the window, I need to make sure I select a window that allows x equal 4 to show up on the graph. For example, I selected x equals negative 10, x equals positive 10. That will certainly include x equals 4 in that window. If you're not sure what the y window should be in order to point on the graph, you can always then select zoom zero. That will select a y window that allows you to see the entire function on that x window range. I now have the graph of the line, slope 2 thirds, and y intercept 7. Now I can approximate here, if I go over to 4, I see that it's going to be here below a height of 7. To do it on the calculator, to actually identify the value of f of 4, we're going to hit trace, then we're going to type 4, and then we're going to press enter. So on the graphing screen, we see the button trace. You hit trace, you type the number 4, and you press the calculator places the cursor on x equals 4 and it tells you at the bottom screen the y value the y value is approximately 4.3333 i can go back to the main screen by hitting second mode which is quit at this point if you type x and press enter it actually remembers x is 4. If you want to, you can actually hit vars, then over to y vars, enter function, enter on y1. So I hit vars, over to y vars, enter on function, enter on y1. And I'm going to use function notation right here on the main screen. Instead of f of 4, I'm typing y1 of 4 and pressing enter. And then again, it returns f of 4. y1 of 4 is equal to about 4.33. From here, you can actually hit math, enter, enter, and change it to an exact fraction. 30. Let's do it again. In example number 2, graphically find the value of g of negative 1 third for the quadratic function g of x equals negative 2x squared minus 15x plus 10. I put the function in y1, negative 2x squared minus 15x plus 10. I select a window that allows me to see negative 1 thirds. Again, x equals negative 10 up to x equals positive 10 would be fine. I hit zoom zero. It graphs it. This will allow me to see negative one-third. The x equal negative one-third. I hit trace. I type negative one-third and I press enter. Trace negative one-third enter. And it says it is approximately 14.7778. Second quit to the main screen. Again, if you hit x, it thinks it's negative one-third. If I do vars, y vars, function, y1 of x, press enter, there it is again, 14.7777, then I hit math, enter, enter. If you want it as an exact value, it's 133 ninths.